And hello and welcome back to Trails. Ignore that. <laughs> Great timing. I had a power outage lately. So a lot of things started downloading without me, you know, without this having, uh, having uh, been on. Hey, Fee. You feel determined? Come to terms with it entirely? Looks like it. Thanks for waiting. Fee? Are... are you alright now? Yeah, I just... cried it all out. If I kept it up any longer, the boss would uh, never live it down. I see. I think that's all. That's all he really wanted. To be seen off by his beloved daughter, by family. The guy lived life on his own terms. Not as some immortal awakener, but as a human being. Gotta say, he left on one hell of a high note. Crow? Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably definitely gets to him a little bit. If you gotta go, you may as well go out with a smile on your face. That's exactly what he did. Now we can do is smile back. Wow, that's not something I expected from you, Ash. You're a real softy. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure Xenom and uh, Leonidas would say the same. Where'd they go? Yeah. Well, since you've taken on the power of the boss's knight, it only makes sense for us to help you out. Oh, okay. Final battle's getting real close. We got a lot of getting ready to do before then. So are we gonna collect allies and they're all gonna show up for the final confrontation, basically, rather than come along with us? We'll meet again, Fee. Schwarzer, and the rest of you. Just make sure you survive till then. Got it. The end of a legend. And the beginning of a new Zepha. We know just how powerful they are. Having them on our side is reassuring. We have to show them that we're no pushovers either. That's right. And we can start by overcoming this next trial. No matter how stacked the odds. Right, it's time to head to Crossbell at last. The place of my lord's rivalry. Yeah, she's an immortal too, which means... Yeah. Tuvali. I know this won't be easy for you. I don't need you to worry about me. The Jaeger King showed us his resolve, so it's only fair I do the same. I wonder if, uh... The Steel Maiden would be willing to take on something similar as uh, what Crow did. W what is her end goal? It feels like it probably has to do with Dreykul's, yeah? So not seeing that through the end might be the biggest thing on her mind, I don't know. I will do that... Uh, I'll do all that I can to persuade my lord to stay with us after the rivalry. The battle itself is another matter. I don't believe my lord would look kindly upon such unnecessary consideration. <laughs> I believe you're all right about that. It appears that her objective is to protect the future of the Empire. Yeah, whatever that protection is... Because it does seem a surprising amount of people are going along with this just because they've been sort of dragged into it. I wonder how much she's going along with it. Like, I guess, what's her end goal, I guess? that That's really what is the thing that makes me wonder. Right. Our goals actually align in a certain sense, so there's probably some hope there. Well, if we can't demonstrate our ability to get past this, then it's all moot anyways. Balamar's new evolution, thanks to the uh, Platinate Knight's power, is going to be a big help. Yeah. Right. The power received from the Jaeger King. We owe it to him to make the most of it. That we do. Next on our agenda, Crossbell. It seems our team has an update for us. I can only imagine who's been staking out Crossbell. Okay, that's not the group I was expecting. Agate, 
Chera! And Tovel as well. Hey there, everyone. We heard about the Jaeger King. Good work. Must have been tough. Yeah, thanks. So, how are things going in Crossbell? Right. There's been some movement that's caught our attention. Word is, there's a giant pillar of light shooting right out of the wetlands. <laughs> of course there is. You mean, the same phenomenon as what happened at the Draco Shrine? Hmm... The wetlands. That's where the tree was. Maybe that's why that's uh, a good place for it? Right. I think that only the sanctuary has been moved like before. There are also eyewitnesses' accounts stating they saw Shining Knight fly off in that direction. Which means there's no doubt she'll be waiting for you there. Or of the strongest, Steel Maiden. McBurn jumps in and is like, What are you talking about? He also doesn't have a Divine Knight on his side. My lord. The time's finally come. And no barrier or similar device has appeared. Right. It seems that the only experimental Gargantua-class battleship was the one we encountered yesterday. Thank you, Braces. We know you're busy, and we appreciate you taking the time to contact us. Eh, it's no big deal. Security seems to be light right now, so we're about to head over to confirm things ourselves. Watch your back, okay, Olivier? And make sure to get them there. Oh, you've got it. You be careful, too. Until we meet again, Shara. <laughs> oh, that is... That makes sense. So, Crossbell, huh? The area's on the brink of turning into a battleground once the war begins. Yes. Looks like the invasion of Calvert will begin from Tangram Fortress on the east side. And right before that, we face the biggest hurdle of the war's shadowy underbelly. In any case, we need to prepare ourselves to the maximum extent possible. Right, to stop the Great Twilight and to somehow stop the war. I can request to allow me to join the fight, starting today. Please call on me without hesitation if such a need uh, arises. I will be counting on you. It is only just healed, though. I don't want you overexerting yourself. Sure, but we could really use our abilities in battle. Let's get this party started, kittens. Considering the circumstances, I'd like to depart for crossbow as soon as possible. However, a number of orders have also arrived. Please do give them a once over when you have a moment. In the meantime, I'll map out a safe route to Crossbell. It's looking like this will be our last foray into the western half of Erebonia for a while, so make sure you don't leave anything undone. Okay. Right. Got it. Not subtle, but okay. So. Crossbell, huh? Me and the others infiltrated it once, right? I mean, I'm worried about the city, seeing as they have war brewing right on their doorstep. Green. Oh, hey, guys. Until we make our way to Crossbell. If you make any more runs to the surface, we'd like to join you. Wait, what? Both of you? Your Highness? Uh, and all these? I, I'm, I'm not sure that's, uh... There's still a lot happening in Western Erebonia. And as Toa's representatives, there are matters we must attend to. We have no intention of taking point, of course, but we can help out with our orders and anything else you might need. <laughs> we did uh, receive my brother's full approval for the record. Oliver, you irresponsible brother! <laughs> Tacking along would also allow me to see the current state of the Empire. I'd really appreciate the escort. Uh, I, how do I say no to that? You two have really grown up. Alright, fine, but don't overdo it out there. You got it! Ah, uh, fun. Yeah, sure, I'll bring Sharon. I imagine I'll probably end up bringing Randy to, uh... Corlospel, yeah? So, same with Duvali, so I'll, I'll wait on using them for a little bit. Uh, Titan Gates. Uh, as we're told, they won't participate in direct combat. They provide Bob orders to support Union Party. And also act as a main way to have someone else outside of Reen. Definitely have dialogue in certain quests and stuff. New weapons and armor cannot be purchased in all areas! Oh! Woo -woo. Okay. It did have a... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I was really supposed to take this request, but my plates kind of get o uh, kind of overflow of at the moment. You guys think you can check it uh, out for me? 
All I know is that Kai and Tilly are having some trouble with it, especially ordering Monster over towards Ulster. Sure, they'd be happy to see you again anyhow. Okay. So, two monster quests, basically. Only two of them. Probably got a few more things. Crossbow. Well, it's been a while. If the circumstances were different, I'd have loved to perform here again. I'm trying to think of cases where he actually performed. He played on top of a downtown uh, uh, building, yeah, for a little bit before falling. I think he played with Mishy for a little bit when we chased him around. Performing isn't exactly what he did there. <laughs> you must be pretty fond of this place, your highness. I still remember that time two years ago when he charged into the bass, uh, jazz bar and started playing the piano. That actually doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> I can totally imagine you doing something like that. What can I say? Life's not worth, uh, uh, life's nothing without a little passion. Speaking of the piano, there was that time I played in the restaurant in, uh, Buas? I don't recognize that name. I got thrown in jail afterwards, but hey, looking back on it now, it was a fun time. Oh, the, the very first, was that what the restaurant's name was when you drank the wine? I just remember you drinking the wine. I think Tita told us that story. You sure have a talent for getting into trouble? Tell me about it. Yeah, you were the cops that had to go talk to him at times. I gotta say, though, after having to stay undercover the last time we were here, I'm looking forward to going back. Just being to walk around town and open again is going to be pretty sweet. I know the feeling all too well. Being dead is quite inconvenient. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep up that for a little while longer, I imagine. Crossbow's up next, huh? I hear Zin's operating in Altair these days. Oh, that's the closest city to Crossbell, right? Altair's about as west as you can get in Cross, uh, get to Crossbell. Not too far from Tangum Gate. It's not, uh, for the border being what it is. If not for the border being what it is, I'd love to go say hi. I mean, we could just fly over the border, technically. I, I wonder how strictly man the border is. How effectively they could do that. I guess with radar and whatnot, you don't really need to have it entirely man. Did you guys say Zin? As in Zin the Immovable? From the Taito School. Yep, that's our Zin. I'm guessing your own master told you about him. Yeah, he told me about how, like, sort of meh he was in the plot. <laughs> yes, and more recently. I hear he helped out during the herbal shutdown in the borough. He was definitely there as the most interesting character for sure. He's supposedly a master of my uh, title mass uh, martial arts and one of the more powerful bracers out there. That's right. He's even stronger than other A-rankers like me and Agate and Shara. Last I heard, he's working with Estelle and the others over on Calvert's side of the border. Oh, is Estelle over there now? But the way things are, I doubt he'd be able to enter Erebonia anytime soon. Obviously. Even A-rank braces can't move around with complete impunity after all. Just, but just the fact that we have allies we can count on in the Republic is something we can be grateful for. Yeah, there's that. True, true, true. Interesting. So, five points, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, same as before. Oh, who would I leave out of this group? Oh my goodness. Out of the ones available, who would I leave out? I don't know. I definitely want to do Duvali, Ash, Crow, Altina. Then I'm sort of like, between Yuna, Elisa, Fi, and Emma, I'm so just like... Even across the board with them, honestly. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Listen up, Cerberus. This is going to be the ultimate test of your skills. Off. Woof, woof. Yeah, that's the spirit I'm looking for. Now, I... Wow, a lot of things are just randomly updating. Now, strap on your parachute and let's get this thing... Wow, a lot of things are updating. Strap on your parachute and let's get this thing done. Your destination will be... Hmm. Add to this time. I didn't thought that far ahead yet. I'm afraid to ask why you've strapped a parachute to a dog. Hmm, why? I can just throw him out of the airship without one. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cerberus is the best character. 
So if they don't bring back Cerberus, I swear to goodness. Cerberus, I, I, I remember I did a ranking of characters. And I'm pretty sure I put Jingo as S tier, like after Cold Steel 3, and primary, like Cerberus is a big part of it. I want to make Cerberus his own character, if I ever do that again. Cerberus is S tier. Jingo is great, but Cerberus is S tier, my goodness. <laughs> I'm guessing you've done this before, Cerberus. Well, as long as he's happy, I suppose I won't stop you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, no, Cerberus. By the way, how are you planning on getting back? Cerberus turns his head around, showing Rena come a compact piece of communications equipment attached to its collar. So you're going to use that to figure out the nonsense to his next port stop, huh? It's a dog eat dog world out there. Got to make sure that you don't get hurt, okay? <laughs> At least they thought through Want the joke. <laughs> hmm. Is that the data I brought over from the experimental battleship? Yep, just stumbled about, uh, onto it while looking through the archives. It's kind of a bummer, though. That big Leviathan guy and those uh, uh, Osmirage dolls. OZ Mirage dolls. Well, he's super advanced tech, but they're also so blah. If I were in charge, I'd add a little cool uh, coolness, a little cuteness, a little something like clackety clack this. I imagine Mint would say clackety clack out loud. I'm gonna know. I feel as though that would be the canon choice for how to translate her lines. She would say clackety clack out loud. Hmm. This concept of hers is very similar to the designs of the Divine Knight. Small wonder, given all the experience Mint has with them, I'd like to see where this goes. I'm... <laughs> He, she's gonna, she's gonna be the fifth disciple, isn't she? At this rate, we'll be willing to let you have that data, based, of course, on the condition that you're able to produce results worthy of. Critical error, data corrupted. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I broke something. No, never mind. She's not gonna be the fifth disciple. <laughs> Wait, no. The auto cleaner program just deleted everything. We stole it from the backup file, and don't you dare touch any unnecessary, uh, unnecessary keys. Understood? Oh, right, the backup. That's a relief. Thank you, Smitty, your pal. Will you ever, ever, ever learn proper laboratory decorum? Unbelievable. Looks like the professor's got more use to the way Mint's mind works. <laughs> you know what I haven't done in a long time and might not have been very right, helpful? To get started. I don't think I've made any new EX stuff. Ah, uh, victory in the second rivalry has boosted Valimar's HP. Cool. I still have Power Orb 1 on one of them. That right, might not have begin. helped, at the very least. Oh my goodness. I need so much U-Material to do this. I've not been getting U-Material because I haven't been fighting enemies. Ah. People suggested me buying uh, uh, items. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Well, I've got everything I need. Plus, help with uh, setting it all up. Uh, it all seems to be in order, so let's say we head over once we have time to spare to uh, the spare time. Leave it to me. Grow or team, are the two of you going somewhere? Yeah, it's just a little thing I need to take care of. Something I want to handle before the next robbery. Something to take care of, huh? I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world, man. Just some personal business. We're all trying to put things in order by the next rivalry, so you got to make sure that you're all prepared too, right? But if you're heading down to take care of anything, just let me know, okay? What kind of business does he have to take care of? I have to admit, I'm curious. For almost definitely, I will. I'm trying to talk to Ordine. No, apparently that's not an option. But I can talk to him from this far away. Oh, hey, Celine, you're with Val. Hey, Celine, what are you doing here? I just want to take another look at Valimar. He's changed so much recently. Yeah, that ogre-like silhouette has... He had is completely gone. Oh, okay. Because I know he changed at the end of the last one. Is It's hard to keep... Tra There's such intricate designs, it's a little hard to keep track of all the various changes that you know, uh, undergo. He's looking a lot more like his old self, actually, if you ask me. True, but he's using more mana now, too. His appearance has changed to reflect that. Now that he's absorbed Sector's power, he's taken his third form. 
Maybe we should call this the uh, form True Valmar. True Valmar. Yeah, that feels fitting. So are we gonna say that he's not going to change more after this? I see what you meant about the rivalries being a struggle for power. I thought I could handle whatever they threw at me, but, well, exactly how I'm feeling about them is kind of complicated. But I guess I've just got to stick with it and do the best I can. I understand how you feel. You may not have a choice about participating, but that doesn't mean you have to like it. For now, just try to struggle through this. Don't be afraid to stay true to yourself. Sleep. Thanks. Makes me feel better to know that I don't have to try to be something I'm not. Uh, interesting. He does look slicker now. And I gotta be honest, a little... brighter? Like his coloration is just a bit whiter, brighter, all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, what is the deal with all these papers? Is there a problem with this shit? Oh, not at all. It's just dumb. The girls are helping me figure out how to get more fuel and am uh, ammunition. It's going to be hard to get all the supplies we need without imports. Right now we're trying to figure out if we'll be able to meet up with the uh, our Remifarian contacts since we're going to Crossbell soon. Of course, that would only drive up the cost even more. Where are we getting the money, by the way? So we're trying to see if there's anything we can do to whittle our expenses down. Did we get like a fund of expenses from the people who built this too? That group of people? I see. So you're all combining your expertise, then. Given that you're all masters in your respective fields, say, since they're students, of course, obviously, I imagine we're going to be just fine. Just be careful not to spread yourselves too thin. <laughs> Roger that. Hmm. Okay. If you insist. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so this is the new area, basically. Um... Is this where we fought the big cannons where they brought... I think this is where they brought, like, the cannons and whatnot when they stole them. Yeah, I remember fighting a bunch of Jaegers in an area like this back Ooh, in the day. Ooh, a tough one! And... Who I happen to bring with, so... Sure. This one's tough! Be careful! <gasps> yes! Oh, okay. Fire. Got it. My turn. Which I happen to be quite Arc good with activated. Thumper. Yes. She having him. She doesn't. Arcus activate. Yes. Yeah. So apparently, at least someone said that using water arts on a burn actually results in it undoing the burn, which I did not know if that's the case, and I'm not we sure if they were messing with me, and I don't feel like testing it too. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. <gasps> I'll treat you. Thank you. Leave this to me. How does this suit you? Chip! Now! It's mine! Leave it to me. Uh, Let's go. It does have art attack, so it might. Uh. Yep. Ow. Leave it to me. Really, Mark I just need to keep hitting you with this. Yes. It's like uh. the entirety of my strategy here. Ha. Of course it misses. Oh. Is everyone okay? Whatever. <laughs> Brilliant design. Got it. So, how is that? I guess I I picked them sort of randomly to come out, just because I hadn't used them notably in a while. 
But, uh, and I didn't, I don't expect to be using them as part of all the, uh, upcoming rivalry stuff. Except maybe Ash. Probably Ash. Uh, formation that raises break damage and covers HP, etc, etc. Is that more turns? I always forget exactly the numbers used on some of these. And a view, maybe? Chance of really taking the scenery when we're here. It's pretty breathtaking. Okay. <laughs> it's been a freaking while since I got one of these photos. Hey, let me take... Whoa, a and something. what have you got? I actually just sort of button mashed through that. Whoops. I guess I get a... Photo of Lucy. Interesting. She's been out and about, so I'm not actually surprised if you had the opportunity. But it is what it is, is so... It looks like the devils mentioned in scripture. There have been a number of sightings recently. We'll handle it. Elise, your highness, please stand back. Interesting. They're going out of their way to mention that, too. I wonder if that's actually going to be relevant at some point. That it's supposedly related to that. Because it's interesting, because all that stuff showed up in Ke the Phantasma for the Kevin and whatnot, but... Am I remembering incorrectly? But wh wasn't... Wasn't a lot of that born from his own mind, too? Of what he thought Hell should be? That sort of thing? Because I thought a lot of what was happening there was born... Ooh, tough one. From what he thought he deserved, or something else of that logic, or... This one's strong! Be careful! Now, let's dance. Ha! 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 I ain't done with you yet. Feel you, Ray. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Confusion, you know. The soul of our sage. Now. Radiant Phoenix Blade. Oh, this does remind me. Altina got a new S craft, didn't she? I have to look at Take that at this. some point. It's down. Strike. I'm up. I was careless. It's my turn. Intriguing. If you would, I'll do my best. I'm up. I guess we get to see it. Let's go. There. Nah. Thank you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Good old confusion. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah! well, this guy is definitely. Let's go. Uh. I don't know if I actually even have stuff that uh. I can restore HP. I guess I could re reduce damage reduction from my own guys. Resonate. Yeah, I guess. Zephyral Symphony. I'm up. <sighs> Not on my watch. <clears throat> Keep my call. Valamar, the Ashen Knight. Whoa! Shit. Hey -ya! This is the end! 
Intriguing. That's an elaborate yeah. animation. For what's essentially a one-off, no? Now. It feels like it's basically a one-off, yeah? Please, hear my song! <laughs> if that doesn't come back later, that's... I got this. That's an elaborate animation to do that. Let's go! Roar! Uh, Helix Strike! <coughs> My turn. I leave it to you. Leave it to me. What? Sure. Now, eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. My turn! Sorry, leave everything to me. Oh, she probably has a high, a high break Here one, I yeah. Come. Let's go! Holy moly. That freeze, I though. I made a mistake. Now. I'm up. Let's let's Sorry. move take him out. I'll take over. Not on my watch. <clears throat> Damn it. Now. It's my turn. Hold back. It's my turn. My turn. Huh. Not on my watch. Yeah, yeah. Behold. <laughs> oh my goodness, this freaking. <laughs> This freeze is going to be the death of me, if anything. I made a mistake. I was careless. For real? Shit! Take this! This. 
That's a way to end it. Sure. Sure, that's a way to end it. <laughs> oh my Everyone goodness. okay? No. That went poorly. Why do I go against my normal strategies? <laughs> oh no. All right, got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yay, I did it. <laughs> oh, cool. Upgraded. I must continue to train. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> do they not get, like, um... Do they not get their new crafts unless they're in the party at a given time? So, like, if I don't use Laura for forever and a half, does she have to, like, I have to bring her in, then I have to level her up one more time, then she'll get a bunch of crafts that she would have gotten? I wonder if that's how it works. I never really... I've not tested it, at the very least. I feel revitalized. Ah, Sharon Elise's and Elfin's bathing clothes. Yes, okay, there was a reason I was gonna do this, obviously. That's what I really came here for, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I want to go do your guys' thing. <sighs> this is so crazy. Yeah, the mayor said that we just need to be patient, but I don't know about that. Yeah, it looks like you two are getting ready for something. Kai, Dillian, right? It's been a while. Oh, hey! Is that request why you're here? Yes, exactly. Tofu's just as busy as you'd imagine, so he passed it on to us. <laughs> the others here told me a bit about you two. Also, you've done so much for my brother. I'd very much like to repay the debt, even if it's just a little. Uh, okay, that's very sweet. Oh, she's so beautiful. I wonder if she's friends with Class 7. No, we, have, we took her hostage. That's why she's with us. Uh, what exactly did the town do for your brother? It's a rather long story. I'll tell you some other time. Please watch what you say here. Oh, they don't recognize her. It's okay. She's wearing the dress, even. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just got caught up in things. Hmm, she really does look familiar. I might just be overthinking things, though. <laughs> I think Kai's starting to pick up on things, guys. Let's go. Anyway, uh, would you mind if we ask you a few questions? Tovo mentioned uh, the town having problems with some kind of monster. Can you tell us anything about it? Uh, yeah, that's right. Recently started showing up near town almost every night. Obviously no one wanted it around, but we all made do. Uh, there's some damage to equipment and plants, but it keeps getting worse. Things took a real turn yesterday, and it was the first time that people ended up injured. Oh my, I suppose that's not the sort of thing one can simply wait out, is it? No, it's not. The really creepy part is that we don't even know what it looks like. The town asked the hunt uh, this hunter to help uh, us get rid of it. He's pretty famous around here. Oh, it's going to be the hunter, isn't it? It's so scary. The monster appears out of nowhere, then it disappears just as fast. It's like we're in a horror story. <laughs> I mean, the obvious twist here is that it's the hunter doing the damage, and he's using it as an excuse to get hired. It really does feel that way. We actually had some soldiers come by, too, but given the situation, they held off in any operations. And given the situation, a hunter could probably get away with it because of that. Ah, <sighs> why does that not surprise me? Seems they've been neglecting their duties, just like during the Civil War. And there was that airship incident already. All the adults were talking about this morning. Uh, we're talking about it this morning. They all agree that we can't afford any more damage done. Mayor suggests that we all move to the mining town, Aragon. Really? That's a massive... Meaning Ulster's going to be abandoned temporarily? I can't believe that it's come to this. So that's what you two were preparing for. But if that happens... I'm sorry, everyone. I know this is shocking news. You know, that basin that I think probably is related to where the, uh, Septarian Svald is around here. I wonder if they're purposely trying to be scared away, too. Abandoning is a pretty major move. I'm sorry, everyone. I know this is shocking news. You guys have already saved Officer once. If anyone can find out the truth about this monster, it's you. So, um, well, and Tovel, maybe. <laughs> He's done that, too, and uh, no, he hasn't saved Officer, but you know. So, um, if you have the time, would you mind looking into it for us? We really appreciate it. Can't just stand the thought of parting with our home. It's full of memories with mom and dad. 
During the Civil War, these Jaegers left Austers in shambles. Is there any way that we can help out? Well, I mean, yeah. A lot of memories in this town, too. Memories off camera. We may all only have today to investigate, but we'll do whatever we can. Really? That's great. I can't thank you enough. Oh, there's no need. We're happy to help. For Oliver's sake, too, since he can't publicly act right now. Right. Ready to go, monster hunting? Yeah. We don't have a whole lot of clues yet, though. Let's start by asking around town. If we found anything out, we'll come back and fill you in. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, talk to the father. Curiosity lies, horrid subject. Many local men have been conscripted, and the townspeople have been forced to evacuate due to the threat. Some logic should be behind what the mayor says, however, the safety of the townspeople is paramount. The evacuation will take place today. I've also contacted the chapel in the mining town, Aragon, to make arrangements. See? Even though everything is so sudden, it seems that things are being handled much more quickly than I'd expect. Hmm. It also seems many of the residences in Aragon are empty due to the uh, conscription. The mayor's been urging townspeople to move to Aragon. He says it's for the good of the Empire. Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, the mayor's... Aragon's low on labor, so he's trying to get the non-conscriptable people over there to be laborers, yeah? It's for the good of the Empire. Uh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, <laughs> the mayor's just walking around. Must be the mayor. Seems like he's been back by the Great Twilight. Let's at least speak to him. Uh, inquired, pacing around, pretending to be bracers are. You actually just you drop the axe. Shit, we didn't bring any of our actual bracers with us. <laughs> this is because of the monster. The wonderful soldiers who were dedicated to the Imperial family uh, have asked around already. Are you talking about the Imperial Defense Force? Hmm. So you're at least aware of their name, I see. They've already taken down observations. They'll perform an official inquiry in the near future. However, with war almost upon us, we can expect our needs to be a priority. This is why I've made the decision to evacuate the whole town to the mining area. Arrogant short of manpower helping the mining efforts, also helping the war effort. He's still thinking about the war, even when the town's in this state. If this ain't the curse, then this guy's really gone off the rails. I don't think we'll be able to rely on him. It's a shame, but we'll have to ask around elsewhere. Rabba, 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 monster, mining, rabba. He's not... He's not hiding it, at the very least. Uh, distillery. Inquired. Strange story. Some of the friends, uh, fields I look after have been destroyed, so I was looking forward to the harvest. You look at the culprit. That's pretty major, only at night. A weird person, you say. Uh, the only person to catch sight of him is from someone not around town, eh? Yeah, that's subtle. Yeah, this this is subtle. Ah, <laughs> uh, some familiar faces asking about the monster. I've been talking. Uh, I hate even talking about it. it. Devastated our fields and destroyed the irrigation waterways. Oh yeah, that's pretty significant. It shows up just about every night now, and when it does, it causes serious damage to the town. Strangest thing I ever seen. I've been hunting for fifty years now, and even my countless attempts at tracking it have all been in vain. I feel like it's so gonna be, like, we're gonna end this, pull the mask off the monster, and it's gonna be the mayor. I would've gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Uh, it's the same story every time. We're in hot pursuit, Drow just vanishes completely up in smoke. It's infuriating. Interesting. Hmm. It must be someone skilled if it's a person doing it. Uh, the only thing that I, I think that can explain is that it has wings. When you lose a trail, it means it's just flown off. That's why you call it a monster rather than a person. Hmm. It is interesting. Regardless of being or not, it's being dangerous. Please watch yourself out there. Hmm. Hello, Mizio Farmer looking guy. Ah, uh, you're investigating incidents. Happened last night. So I'm suddenly realized I forgot to close one of the fences. Went back to be alone. I suddenly attacked from behind. It's pitch black. I couldn't make it out very well. It looked like a giant cat monster. A giant cat monster. Sounds like it could be really vicious. We have seen plenty of flying little cat beasts, haven't we? Sounds like he was very lucky just to have been able to escape. How are your injuries? Are you going to be okay? Yes, you don't need to worry about me. I was able to defend it out with, uh, with my hoe. I do have some injuries on my hands and feet, but not enough to prevent me from walking. Huh. That's been a terrifying experience. Do you remember anything else? Doesn't matter how minor. We're interested in any detail. Uh, I don't really... Wait, is this blonde girl? Ah, don't spend too much time. No, it must be my mind blank tricks on me. More importantly, there was that strange noise just before I was attacked. It was a high-pitched noise, almost like a whistle. 
Oh, it's someone controlling the monster. Okay, it's gonna be like that guy. Yes, I don't think Gideon's gonna be around here, but... Same idea, I think. Ah, uh, Summers, we learned the many puzzling aspects of the case. Yes, the monster doesn't seem to be the only problem. Let's just talk over at Kai and Tilly's house. Keep thinking. Let's go. Okay. And... Hey, guys. Uh... Discuss what we learned and discuss what to do next. We don't really have time to wait till tonight, yeah? First things first, let's lay out what we know. We gathered a lot of information, but let's focus on the monster first. Several things that we learned caught my attention, but if we put the story together, what's strange is... That there are no eyewitnesses. Well, there was that one that we that was claimed to be an eyewitness, right? Spoiler free guide! It's showing up now is interesting in its own right, but not necessarily the particularly strange part. Okay, apparently it is that it showed up now. I mean, it is good timing, given the mayor's stuff. Isn't it a bit too convenient that it showed up now of all times? I agree, you have to wonder what drew it here all of a sudden. The hunter mentioned that it lost, uh, he lost it midway through the chase each time he went after it. It almost seems set up, doesn't it? To be honest, Tilly and I kind of suspected that too. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. And Oz said it was like a big cat monster or something, right? I was surprised to hear that. Why do you find that surprising? Well, um, it just wasn't what I expected, I guess. The crops that were ravaged were grapes, right? Oh, I see. It does seem out of place for a carnivorous monster to be drawn to crops. Grapes, even less so. Why would it destroy the irrigation waterways like that? Seems like it's trying to harass the town. Hmm. So why is, is its behavior abnormal? That is the million mirror question. We must consider the possibility that... It's being controlled by people. Um, under the effect of the Great Twilight. No, not not with the whistle thing. Confirming, 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 confirmed. There must be someone controlling it. What? Controlling monsters? Is that even possible? Yeah, actually, there are certain monsters that have been specifically trained to respond to sound. They're known as military monsters. You often see Jaegers using them. Someone mentioned seeing a strange man loitering around the outskirts of town. Do you think there's a connection? Oh, I've seen him too. He doesn't look like a soldier or a Jaeger, but he definitely seems like he's an Ulster for a reason. As of right now, though, we don't know if he's related or not. So, considering what we've seen and heard, we can't rule out some sort of conspiracy at play here. Ugh. Conspiracy? I know it might sound absurd, but I think it's worth exploring what the reasons behind such a plot would be. If someone were in fact controlling a monster, what would be their motive? Think about the potential objectives. Something else, I'd say. I mean, get people to the other... to Aragon, yeah? Yep. Something else. The only conclusion I think is that there's something that we don't understand yet. You're probably right, at least. It's true, we didn't walk away with anything conclusive at all. But there was, there was one person who seemed to know the truth behind what's going on. S someone who knows the truth? Who could it be? I think. The mayor! The Imperial Defense Force wouldn't have been a bad answer, either. It could be Mayor Matham. Are you saying that the mayor intentionally is intimidating the residents? I don't know about that. That must be some mistake. It's not something I want to believe, either. But people are saying that the mayor has been pushing to move to Aragon for quite some time now, even before this monster issue. We can't deny that things are, seem to be falling in his favor. Well, when you put it like that, it does seem oddly convenient. It's a terrible thing to consider, but it does make some sense. You know what I mean, right, Tilia? One day, he just started acting so strange. Have we ever explained the Great Twilight to these guys? But he's the mayor! A mayor would never do anything bad or selfish. So he's been such a nice person. When we lost Mom and Dad, he really looked out for us. Yeah, that's, uh... It's hard to imagine. Tilia? Really, huh? I wonder what the truth is. The Great Twilight has proven itself to be incredibly, uh, have incredibly far reach. It's not out of the question. I just don't know. On one hand, the mayor's control, uh, controlling monster is definitely a possibility. But it looks like we don't have all the facts yet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, who's calling me? Oh, aren't you Makis' co-worker? <laughs> Please excuse the sudden interruption. Makis told me that you're also dealing with a certain incident. This is a rather awkward request to make, but I was actually wondering if you could leave this issue be for me. Huh? Leave it be. What do you mean? Is there something going on in Ulster? 
something that points to government accountability inspectorate. The J A the G A I. We should probably not say government accountability inspectorate all the time. Well, I'll just leave that up to your imagination. Looks like you have your reasons, Reiner. But the residents are terrified. They're already preparing to evacuate by the end of the day. We can't turn a blind eye to this. But what? Things have already reached that point. Everything's moving way too fast. I do have an idea, but we're going to need your help. We gotta bring this to an end. Alright. Maki has told me a lot about you guys. Thought about this for a while, but you're probably people worth trusting. I'll share what we've gathered. Make sure you use it well. Interesting information. Combining all the individual pieces that helped me get a clear picture of the situation. Uh, but also unnerved something suspicious unfolding and also something worthy of the working spare essay. <laughs> da da da! The idea that this sort of thing could, uh, in Auster, uh, could occur in Auster is hard to fully wrap my uh, mind around. Ryan did put some potential operations together, but they're not going to make it in time, just like we thought. If anyone's going to do something, it'd have to be us. Besides, I don't think this is entirely unrelated to those of us from Thor's. It certainly does seem that way. Interesting. We have to uncover what's really going on, no matter what. Unrelated to things involving Thor's. Hmm. I would like nothing more than to play a role in this operation. Um, Tilly and I want to help too. I think I can convince the people to live here to go along with our plan. I can imagine anyone better suited for that. Things get a little rough out there. Princess Alphen, Elise, your safety is the highest priority. Oh no, I said Princess Alphen. I said it out loud. I don't know what's going through your mind, but if it results in anything but us coming along, then you can forget it. Yes, that's right. We're helping, and that's that. You wouldn't let us come this far only to tell us to stay out of it, would you? This is why we're supposed to come along in the first place. Well, I guess I should have known they wouldn't back down after hearing all that. Just be as careful as possible, please. Save the group, no matter what. Yep, yep, you got it. You understand? Let's make sure we're ready before uh, we head out. It's time, everyone. Right! Okay. I don't really know what else there is to add, but I think I'll probably be done.